Hey everybody, Roth here and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Now last episode I decided that I wasn't going to wait around to uh, try and claim the Holy Roman Empire for myself or for my wife or my, my son either way um, and instead I was going to claim the two bits of land that I have claims on and accumulate claims on this guy. The, well not this guy, this bit of land here. Um, which will then be the final bit of land I need to conquer. Which is great. This was Europa Universalis. You could just go, yeah, I'm going to claim that as well in the war. But unfortunately, uh, it is not. You have fixed CBs and you have to stick with those results. Which is fair enough, but it's not really how medieval warfare, or any warfare, really works. Uh, you can ask for more if you uh, if you win more. And what the hell's going on with Paris Laval? Are they just taking Crimea? Are they occupying Crimea? No, the Doge of Transylvania. Where's Transylvania? Oh, there's Transylvania. Okay. I thought for a minute Paris Laval was sort of making some sort of weird thing. Denmark is a random bit of... It has Kiev, because why not? Um, which is a bit odd. Not really sure why that's happened, but okay. Um, yes, anyway, what was I saying? Uh, yes, I need to pick a focus because I died and I said I was gonna do this before I stopped recording, but I've obviously lied I forgot about that. So um, I can usurp Spolito, which I'll do because why not? Have the money to uh, Who were who is worth giving Titan to not you? You you'll do Duchy of Spolito There we go strategy Strategitissa. What a fantastic name. She's a wealth as well. So fair enough. Right, so I did that. Uh, anything else? Usurp Duchy Vittel. Do I want to? Not really. No. Uh, and I still need to do a focus. What's my current character? I'll go for the stewardship one, I think. Well, that would probably be best. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go with rulership. Which has not put me over the domain limit that I need, but whatever. That's fine. Uh, I don't have any of those. Court, court Dwarf, I don't have. Do I still have a Court Eunuch? Uh... Which one's called Eunuch? Ah, oh, this guy. Yes, 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 this guy. So he should still like me. I need to check all my vassals do like me. Um, I won't have the issue with having raised all the levies because that was my dad, so they're not particularly fussed now. And this guy does not like me at all. You want the Duchy of Neopolis twice. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, transfer vassal. Nope. Hang on, who has Neopolis? You, you have Neopolis, don't you? Do I have Neopolis? Du jour? Duchy of Neopolis. I have the Duchy of Neopolis. Okay, well, I'll give it to this guy. Grant Neopolis. And then I'll transfer him as a vassal. Statue of Neopolis. And he likes me again, so there we go. Wonderful. That's statementship, isn't it? Uh, there's lots of other titles I could hand out, but I'm not going to. And we'll continue with the war. I'm one over my, my domain limit. I'm not too fussed, so that's fine. Uh, what? What? Ah! No, of course I died. So that meant my war ended. I'm a moron. I knew that was going to happen and I forgot. So that's fine. I'll have my daughter come. Uh, I'll ha try and have a daughter, rather. Okay, so that sucks. Because I was very close then. But I do ha still have claims. Which, they're weak though. So I need to have... Uh, they need to be even with Regency. It's going to be more difficult to press them. Which is a shame. Uh, you've inherited a barony, which is cool, but I don't particularly care. Uh, and I've got a, my nephew. I'll marry him off. Anyone in particular? Anyone worthwhile? Um, not really. Uh, yeah, you can just... Or did you just take the vows? There we go. Good for you. Now I don't need to worry about you too much. Uh, yes, yeah, so that was a bit of a shame. Oh. Feuding between the Exarch of Bulgaria and Doge of Crete. Um, I'll, I, I, I've annoyed both of them. I clicked that. I didn't really think that uh, it wasn't the pay them off option. Pisa randomly controls Sienna. That sucks. What about you? Can I offer vassalization to you? I can, but you don't take it. And I can't declare war because I've got things raised. Why have I inherited Thessalonica? Thessalonica, I might just give it away as a title. Like, I don't really care. Um, 
one thing I could do is form the kingdom of, of Greece and just go, all these annoying vassals, I don't need to care about them right now. That would be, that would be quite cool. Uh, Grant Vice Royalty Thessalonica. There we go. Cool. So, uh, once these armies are back in my land. Uh, who's this guy? Duke of Ephesus. Uh, do nothing for now. What are my factions looking like? 42% Duke of Armenia. Prince Bishop of Jerusalem. And Ephesus. Hmm. Yeah, so, uh... I'm going to give this guy a gift. He can have 65, 68 gold. Okay, so he should be fairly out of it now. Let's have a look at uh, Armenia. Why are, you, why are you so annoyed with me all the time? What if I make you a vassal of Georgia? I think that would work out better for me. Then I wouldn't need to worry too much about what you want or think. Uh, I can't. Okay. It's a bit odd. Uh, I thought I could. But fine. You know what? Not the end of the world. Disband my levies. Now I can look at Orvieto and think about what? The what? The holdings in County of Rome are all de jure vassals of Basilius. Do I? Oh. Uh. Okay. Orvieto. Why is Orvieto randomly taken? Some of this land. Does your claim on Oviato? If I win the war, the patriarch likes me. Yes, we'll go with that one because then they're still they they come under my domain again, all of the land, which is fine. I don't think I oh, she got four thousand guys. Okay, cool. So this army, I'm oh, I've got my random vassal, duke, king, exarch leading the forces. It's fine. He's really good. Uh, Mayor Odd One will pay for. <laughs> I just, I just keep thinking of the streamer. I, it's just, it's difficult to take it seriously. Mayor Odd One, he's a general. He's not a count. Ah, Capuan President Revolt. Of course. Right as I raised my divorces, that is just ridiculous. What are the chances? Seriously. Evacuate out. That. What are the chances? Ah, two point five percent chance. That's that's why. Peasant tradition is scorned. That's because of this fucking king. He's ruined everything. They didn't need to be annoyed. He's annoyed them. So I'll disband them uh, because I can. And then down here, I'll raise up. No. Just because I want to get all the people that I need. You. Wait, who? who's whose vassals were they? Oh, no. He was leading the forces. I'm getting confused. That's why. I thought because the Bulgarian exarch was leading the forces, that, that meant he was actually... That was his army. He was the vassal, but it wasn't. So it's fine. Uh, I'm going to give this guy some gold so that he likes me more, which means he's going to give me more troops. He gave me 8,000 troops that time, which is much better. So I can call that allies in. I can call the Cargo of the Elkanite. And I can also call in the Teutons, who are not going to join in because they hate me. And there's been another revolt because of something. St. Dennis... St. Dennis? Where's St. Dennis? Is that part of my domain? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, yes. I see. Aquitaine just controls Brittany now. The Aztecs won their invasion. Uh, Why? Forgive and forget. I smell profit. Ah, oh, blackmail him. Why not? Hey, Tom, money. If you do not keep quiet, I will do things to you that you can't even begin to imagine. Wow. Go on. Threaten me. Go for it. Like I can. So, this army can march in. I've got my 27 marshal. He's just amazing. And I should have no problem. Okay, he's inbred. My my half-brother has had an inbred son. How? How are they related? How are they related? Romanos. Yeah, whatever. This kid's going to die. Uh, I can get it on my own, so I won't actually... I can't. Okay, so did he die straight away? Yes, he died straight away. He died a sickly infant. Of course he did. He's inbred and sickly, so he was definitely going to cop it. So I've attacked them. They're in mount. They're in hills, rather. But I have really good marshals, so I should be all right once we get into melee range. Because it's me. Yep, yep. They're all light cavalry and infantry, so it's fine. Kingdom of Georgia. Okay. This works out, because now I can go to this annoyed Duke of Armenia. 
and go, here, have the Kingdom of Georgia. And then he likes me all of a sudden, because I gave him lots of power. Funny that. So, okay, they can march to Benevento. Just going to wipe out these guys fully. Yeah, I'll friend him, see if it works. Because last time I didn't, and then he, I realised he was actually in all the factions ever. And he's, he's back down, which is good. That means that with them out of the way, yeah, my, my internal bickering is dealt with. That's fantastic news. I'm going to actually, just in case it had an effect, and I'm sure it doesn't, but just in case, I'm going to move my uh, Chancellor, Magistros, back to Ravenna to try and get a claim again, just in case. And if not, whatever. So, I will... Got those raised already. 97%, are you kidding? I'll leave them. My vassals will probably kill them just by accident. So that's fine. They can't do anything. Um, yeah, so I my basically this plan for the episode, which is halfway through already, is to wipe out those rebels accidentally. Yep, won it already. And uh, bring Oviato back into the fold. Because that just sort of happened, and I'm not sure how. And I don't want it to happen again. So to make sure, I'm going to kill them all. And occupy all the land. There we go, 73%. Uh, yeah, and I'll just leave them to occupy that once autosave is done. And once that's done, I should actually... I'll, I'll win the war. I'm on 73% already just from winning the battles. I mean, I wonder if she would accept... No. Why is that? I'm losing what I don't give up yet. Why do you think you're going to win against me? Look at, look at my domain. And there's a faction. The faction I thought was dealt with is all of a sudden not. Queen of Pannonia wants to be independent. Have a gift. Please stop trying to get out of my kingdom. Because I need you to stay. Uh, Prince Bishop of Alexandria, you can get the hell out of my life. Except don't stay in my life, please. I need you to stay. And you're a fucking Catholic. I'm going to try and kill this guy. He's disliked to all hell, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, Strategists of Genoa, again, you they're all the holdings that I need to keep in order to restore the Empire, so I'm not going to lose them. And the Countess of Epiros. Um, can I not just, like, bribe you? You were expensive, but you are bribed. So they should now all back out. In theory. Yep, yeah, one did. Once the Queen of Pannonia... Stop joining! Despot of Croatia. Uh, yep, yeah, we're going to kill the Doge of Venice. Oh, dear. So the plot's revealed. No longer need to worry about the faction, though. The faction's gone. Yep, yeah, one less threat to the establishment. I love that. It's a JFK reference. It's great. Once this army has taken this. So, basically, my lands should be fairly contained right now which is very useful because I do need them to stay contained um, how's this guy looking he is attacking Pisa in an embargo war that's an interesting way of, of dealing with your in, uh, internal issues I have to say ah my son he can be educated I will educate him myself do I want myself to educate him am I decent I'm half decent I've got decent stats, and I'm actually controlling it, so I can decide what he gets. He is sickly, though. That would, that would really suck if he died. Because he currently holds the key to restoring the empires. Because once he's of age, my wife may or may not have a tragic accident and pass on her claim to him. Which would then mean I can press it. And then my son would be emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, and I would be emperor of the East. And then they combine on my death. And I'd restore the Empire and destroy the Holy Roman Empire. It would be beautiful. That's the plan. I'm going to support the Greens. And I lose the Prestige. That's fine. Let's see. I should win this any second now once I win this siege. Because she's gaining war score just because I don't control any of the land. So that will soon end. Once the autosave is complete. And once... I mean, we must be a few days away now. Every 12 days, so two months left, I think. My maths is right. Um, it was, and now it's not because it's it's passed on. So many things are happening. Krasminid. 
Civil War. So oh, okay. Hang on. Quara. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's a civil. Oh, I see. I see. I see. So I have bits of sort of. I don't know what they're doing. Um. So Arabia, I'm guessing, is also Ayyubid Dynasty. It is. The Decadence Revolt. It's, the Decadence is growing. It's great. Uh, I smell profit again. Why not make more money from it? Gained money. Lovely stuff. And the Serene Doge of Pisa accepted the Kaiser's offer of peace. That's good. Well done. So, the Aztecs get making gains now. Not necessarily down here. But, uh, lose gold to build the castle. Fine. Uh, but they've gained all of Aquitaine back. And that county then that just disappeared. Lots of stuff happening. I don't particularly care about any of this. Uh, there's a way of dealing with it. And I will deal with it after the uh, legal age. Uh, we'll just take vows. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's that's happening. I think I know which one it is. This one? No. It's not. Okay. It is one of them. Let us write the Tome of, judge of Judgment. Pisa. Is Pisa getting involved? What are you doing? Uh, that won't do. That's fine. I'll just, I'll just occupy this city and end the war. I don't need to even fight that army. Uh... Stop seducing my wife. You feel for Italian Catholic. I don't know. I haven't been able to convert them yet because, one, I haven't particularly cared. And two, uh, yeah, become honest. Great. Uh, and two, he hates me too much. So unless I imprison him and make him convert that way, um, there's no there's no way. I'll educate my daughter. And 100% war score. So in, in theory, if I've read this right, he she should then fall back into the failing. And if I just check restore the empire, Ferrera, I do not fully control the Prince Bishopric of Latium. What's going on? What is what's what's this? What are you doing? Off of vassalization? No. Right. Let's have a look. So there's these two bishoprics. Not Bishop Bricks, um, Orbitello Holdings. Uh, uh, yeah, he gains that. And then just because so I can attack them both at the same time, go to this guy and Orbitello Holdings. There we go. So they've actually broken down the uh, different things. Why does he have no fucking troops? That's awful. So I will go to Spolito. Does Spolito have a decent amount of troops? No, not really. I'll keep them there anyway. They might be of use. And I'll raise up these 3,000 guys here. I shouldn't need any more than that, really. You're trying to fabricate a claim. I don't care. So am I. I'd be hypocritical. Just kind of... Do they not have any troops? They're not raising them. So I'm, I, I'm not sure what is actually going on there. Eventually. Autosave. Autosave decided, no, nope, you're not going to find out. Uh... Both are acting like that annoys both of them. Uh, Neophytus. Because he's going to win the war and I won't need to worry about the others. Uh, oh. So I've gained a castle. And where is this? Kelp. There. Cool. So they're both really cheap castles there. Which is good. And I've become just. Which is also amazing. So these odd thousand men can wander into there, start occupying some baronies, and laugh and laugh and laugh as the plan... I, I, I think I will end up now going with the plan of educating my son to be really decent and pressing the claim for the Holy Roman Empire. That's probably the easiest way. It's the most sort of epic way of, of dealing with the whole situation. And I need to choose between two of them. I'll go with Doge. And become diligent. I love this focus so much. It's so good. I have 80,000 guys. That's that's decent. I'm happy with that. Could call allies into this war. I'm not going to. I will improve my castle infrastructure. And I gain two stewardship. Holy crap. I am turning out pretty great. 
And considering I was fairly poor, I'm I've lost I've lost just. Okay. So that happened. Um not much I can really do about that. Yeah, I've become Greek. Don't want you to be Serbian. <clears throat> I'm gonna have him scheme in Pannonia. That'd be the best bet. During a visit, um, they were accosted by... This happened twice. It happened twice. He's... This is so unfortunate. It's the same guy, but it was in two different places. Anas Anastasiopolis and Chrysopolis. And he was attacked both times. Um, yeah. I'll make Bernard love me. Yeah. Let's have a look. Happy plus 50 because of because he was attacked twice and I was like, yeah, okay. Oh, the hands are of to Orthodox. I've inherited Delania. I've gained vassals. This is not good. So who wants to be the new king of Delania? You're content. You're also weak. So that will do. Have Elenia. And you actually didn't get any vassals there for reasons I do not understand. So I'll allocate them out, and then I'll end this episode. So, while I'm just doing this, thank you very much for watching. Bloody hell. Can't click. And I will see you... Where's Ankara? No, I don't have Ankara. Anyway, I will see you next time. <laughs>